Hi guys, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Elgato Game Capture HD to your PS3. So these are all the cables that come with the Elgato. And yeah, so the first cable that um, is here is the mini USB to USB cable that you use to connect the Elgato Game Capture HD to your PC. Um, this is the component to SV, SV video I think, or something like that. Uh, S video, that's it. And um, that's the part that goes into your PS3 and this is the part that goes into the Elgato. Um, next is the HDMI cable that comes with the Elgato. Um, I'm not going to be using this one in the video because I have my own. Um, this is the... I don't even know what that is. It's if you want to connect a headset I'm pretty sure but we're not going to be doing that today. And this is the Elgato itself. Um, it's light, it's almost the size of an iPhone. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take the uh, HDMI cable out of the box. Um, I'm going to be using my own HDMI cable because I already have one, I don't need to use the other one. So first you want to take one end and plug it into the back of your TV. And then you want to take the other end and plug it into the HDMI out port on, in your Elgato. Next you're going to want to take the S-Video 2 component cable and plug the um, S video side that one um, into the AV key in port on your Elgato. Now take this side of your cable, remove the safety cap, and you're going to want to plug it into the back of the PS3. Um, it's right there. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there we go. Yeah, plug it in right there. Now you're going to want to take the mini USB to USB cable and plug the uh, USB the bigger one um, into your computer. Now take the smaller end of the USB cable and plug it into the USB port on your Elgato. Now that you have all the cables plugged in, you should have the S video going from the Elgato to the back of your PS3. Um, you should have your HDMI cable from the Elgato running all the way back into your one of the ports in your TV and you should have the mini USB cable plugged into the Elgato running into your computer. Now you're going to want to turn on your TV and uh, RCA made for today um, and make sure that the source is set to HDMI. Now you want to hold down the power button on your PS3 and wait till you hear a second beep. This will basically reset all the display settings on your PS3 to make sure that you can see the display on your TV. Now if we wait we could probably see the Elgato on the Elgato software my screen. There it is. Once you are on your PS3, uh, I just signed in there, uh, you're going to want to go over to the settings menu and scroll down to uh, until you see display settings. You want to click X and then click on video output settings. You want to select component slash D terminal. Click change. Now you want to click yes, obviously. and you're going to want to select all the resolutions that are supported by your TV. Keep in mind, uh, the Elgato does not record in 1080p um, on PS3, um, and I do not recommend using 1080i because um, interlace can mess with your TV's re resolution. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching this video, um, please leave a like if it, if it did indeed help you set up your Elgato. Um, if this video gets to 25 likes, I will release two separate videos, one being on how to um, set up a Turtle Beach headset or any other headset with the Elgato, and the other being the settings set up for the Elgato software if you do not have very good specs. Um, 
thank you a lot for watching, and goodbye.